by the time of Isha, he could not move. He could not move. And he lost consciousness. He woke up for a moment. And the first thing he said, Asallanas. The first thing he said, Asallanas. Did people perform their salah? Haisha, our mother, in whose presence he died. She said, لا يا رسول الله فإنهم في انتظارك No, يا رسول الله, they are still waiting for you. They have hope. Then, he said, صلى الله عليه وسلم, bring me al makhzab this big vessel with water, cool fresh water. He entered inside of it and he refreshed himself and bathed and got out to get some strength and as he stood up to walk to inside the masjid he fell and he lost consciousness he wakes up a while later and the first thing he says he tries that again washes and tries to get up and he can't and he falls thrice Asallanas. Finally, he pointed Abu Bakr in Rabi Allah Ta'ala to lead Salatul Isha. And Abu Bakr as Siddiq led Salatul Isha of Thursday night. And the Fajr Salah of Monday and three days in between. The scholars say about 17 salawat were led by Abu Bakr in the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Monday morning. Fajr time. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala is the Imam of the believers. Suddenly, suddenly, the curtain opens. From the private quarters of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala and that door opened directly into the masjid. In the front rows, of the masjid. The curtain is open. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is standing at that door. Seeing Abu Bakr radiallahu an leading his ummah in salah. The last sight from this dunya of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam was his ummah in salah his ummah united in salah that was the last sight of his ummah They were so elated, so happy. Qala Anas kadu yuftatanuna fi salatihim. Farahan bi Rasulillah. 
out of joy. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now is healed. They thought he came to lead us again. No, he did not. When he looked at them, he smiled. He smiled and then he closed the curtain. And went back. The last, very last seconds or minutes. Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhuma enters the private quarters of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and he's laying in the arms of Aisha against her noble chest and Abu Ba'an Abdul Rahman was carrying a miswak. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Aisha who read, who read with her eyes of her head and her eyes of her heart every move external and internal of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it seems she said I knew as he looked at Abdul Rahman that he perhaps wanted siwak. At that moment, Ya Rasulullah, at that moment, she said, I told him, would you like the siwak, Ya Rasulullah? He moved his head, yes. She took it from him and, and then she never forgot this to be one of her most special privileges with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam قالت اختلط ريقي بريقه عند موته my saliva mixed with his at the moment of his death for she said to him as the siwak was hard she said shall I soften it for you he moved his head She took it in her noble, sweet mouth and softened it. Softened it and gave it to him and he took it in his mouth. And right after that,
with those whom you graced from among the Nabiyin and the Muqarrabin and the Shuhda and the Salihin. Oh Allah, forgive me. Allah, grant me rahmah. Allah, the company of the Most High. Allah, the company of the Most High. I'm going to go to the hospital.